This is polynomials lesson two, part one, looking at multiplying polynomials. So multiplying two monomials. We've done this before in an earlier lesson. So three x squared times five x. I typically will take care of the coefficient part first, the number part first. So three times five is 15. X squared times x to the one is x cubed. So 15 x cubed. Similar with the next one, right? Uh, multiply the negative 7 times 5 is negative 35 times the negative 2 is 70. And then x cubed times x, this is again understood 1, just add those values up and you'll get 70x to the 8th. Nothing new there. Multiplying a monomial and a polynomial. So we've done this before as well. Maybe not um, with this big of exponents, but nonetheless the procedure is the same. 4x times 3x to the 4th. We just multiply the 4x times 3x to the 4th, and we'll get 12x to the 5th. And then the 4x times the negative 2x will be a negative 8x squared. And then finally, 4x times the 1 would be plus 4x. How about the next one? So negative 3x squared times 2x cubed minus 3x plus 7. Pause the video here. Make sure you can do this one. All right, welcome back. So negative 3x squared times a 2x cubed would be the negative 6x to the fifth. Plus... 9x cubed. I'm going to multiply negative 3x squared on negative 3x, and then finally minus 21x. The biggest mistake I see on these is with the signs, um, particularly if there's a negative sign here. Really be careful on that. Okay, multiplying any two polynomials. So 3x plus 2 times 5x minus 1. So the general rule here is make sure that every term from the first expression gets multiplied to every term in the second expression. So we have 3x plus 2 times 5x minus 1, so it's 3x times 5x, gives you 15x squared. And then 3x times a negative 1, negative 3x. 2 times 5x is plus 10x, and then 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2. And always look to see if you can combine any like terms. Have you seen any like terms here? Sure. The negative 3 x plus 10. So we combine those to get 7x. So we get 15x squared plus 7x minus 2. That's your final answer. Go ahead and pause the video here. See if you can do the, the next one. Welcome back. So 4x squared minus 2 times 5x plus 1. Okay. So we're going to do the 4x squared times 5x to give me 20x cubed. 4x squared times 1 to give me 4x squared. And then the negative 2 times 5x to give me minus 10x, and the negative 2 times 1 to give me minus 2. We combine our like terms, bring down the 20x cubed, combine 4x squared minus 10x. Ah, did I get you? We cannot combine those terms. I see that quite often. So 4x squared minus 10x, these don't combine. They're not like terms. So our final answer is just this piece right here. 20x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10x minus 2. And again, it's written in a nice descending order. Descending order, the exponents go down each time. So we have 3, 2, 1, and 0. Okay, example 4. 3x plus 2 times 4x cubed minus 2x plus 1. Same procedure. We're going to take the 3x and multiply it to each term. We have the next expression. And take the 2 and multiply it to each term. So 3x times 4x cubed is 12x to the fourth. 3x times negative 2x, negative 6x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x. And then move on to the 2. 2 times 4x cubed, 8x cubed. 2 times negative 2x is negative 4x. 2 times 1 is 2. Now look, can we combine anything? Anything like terms here? Yes, there are some like terms. We can combine the 3x and a negative 4x. And I put a little note down there that the general strategy is if we multiply the first term to the first polynomial, we did the 3x, and then distribute each term on the second polynomial, then move to the next term. 
and so on. So 3x minus 4x, we can do that. So we're going to write these in descending order. So 12x to the fourth. Then look to see, do I have a cube term? I do, plus 8x cubed. I've got a square term, minus 6x squared. And then do the arithmetic on 3 minus 4 to give you a negative x. And then bring down your 2. And that's your final answer. So try this one on your own. Example 5. 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1 times the quantity of 4x squared minus 3x plus 2. All right, welcome back. If you can do this one, you can do any one I give you. So let's color code this just to make it easier to see. So 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. So we're going to take the 3x cubed and multiply to each of those um, terms in the second expression. So 3x cubed times 4x squared, 3x cubed times 3x, negative 3x, and 3x cubed times 2. And you get 12x to the fifth minus 9x to the fourth plus 6x cubed. Then move on to the next term. So 2x squared, negative 2x squared times 4x squared, then negative 2x squared times negative 3x, negative 2x squared times 2, and write it down. So this is going to end up being nine term polynomial before we simplify. Move on to the next term. It's the one, so basically it's going to multiply all those, which just ends up being itself. Let's combine some like terms. So we have the 9x to the 4th, negative 8x to the 4th. We can combine those guys. And the 6x cubes we can combine. And then what's going to happen really nicely with the negative 4x squared and positive 4x squared? Good, those cancel. And so we rewrite this. 12x to the 5th, again in descending order. Negative 17x to the 4th plus 12x cubed minus 3x plus 2. Because again, these guys cancel out. And that should be your final answer.